I will just look personally myself its options. So how much money I can generate if the company keeps sliding down uh, from that perspective. So for example, okay, October is nearly over. So I go to November. Okay, and if uh, current price in like uh, $35, okay, how much money I can get? So uh, $35.50, I can get like the last was 94 cents. Okay, that's what I can get. 76 cents on 35.5. It would be 76 cents divided by 35.5. It would be 2.1%. 2.1% I can make if I sell a call $35, $50 strike price. So it's just above the current share price. And even if it slides down more, uh, I know that I reduced it by 70 cents. Okay. And then I just uh, keep selling these covered calls month, month after month. Okay. If I believe in the company. If I don't believe in the company, basically I'm not going to uh, buy this company at all. Okay, so that's two uh, websites where we can get where you can get good information. There are a few more. Uh, there are a few more a similar type of information. You can go to um, Google Finance or MSN Money as well, and you can find this information there as well. Uh, but it's pretty similar. Pretty similar information. Uh, the only difference probably in MSN Money that sometimes they show you five years. Uh, in the past, whereas here it's always uh, three years. Okay, so you can see a uh, longer period, and uh, it's, it's sometimes it's better to see a longer period. Okay, I found just Yahoo Finance sometimes it's more reliable than um, uh, MSN Money. That's about it. Sometimes they have discrepancies, so you can check it out. Okay, guys, do you have any other questions regarding this particular website or Finvis? Put a green tick if everything is clear and red cross if you have a question, but you don't ask it. Okay, great. Was it something new for you guys? Have you learned something during this meeting? Okay, great. So ne next time, next time, probably what I'm trying uh, will show you how to do screening process using also um, like free stock, but maybe in a different way that finance uh, Finviz. What I do recommend you just to go browse more about that. Just try to screen it because remember that information will be changed every day. So if today you set these parameters, you will find uh, how many companies we found? I think four, right? Uh, if we go back to how many companies we found, we found one, two, three, five companies, right? So if you do it even uh, tonight, you will find different companies. And why? Because when the market opens or companies, they provide certain information, research data, etc., etc. So maybe the fundamental data will be changed. Or maybe Finviz just upload uh, the new data in their website and you will find new companies. Okay, so it makes sense to check it regularly uh, because even same parameters will give you different results. And also the interesting thing what I found, if you use different search engines, uh, for example, let's say Morningstar and Finviz, you will find different companies. And the reason for that, because they have different database for companies. Altogether, there are uh, about 30,000 companies in US only, okay? And uh, at the moment we started from 7,000 companies. So it means that uh, about 23,000 companies were missing uh, in that particular database. Yeah, that's a lot, that's a huge amount. So it's, it's and when you go to different websites and uh, look at, their parameters. The next time, what we are going to do, we are going probably the same online. I will show you uh, how to do another search 
and uh, you will be able to get information for different companies. Uh, last club meeting we had a discussion and we used two uh, different research engines and we came up with different companies. Like some companies were the same, but some companies were different. Okay, and uh, sometimes it gives you certain uh, kind of ideas and uh, you can research more companies if you are taking it seriously. Okay. Uh, so uh, that's about it, guys, for today. If you don't have any questions, if you have questions, uh, go ahead and ask. Now, if you don't have, I just want to announce that uh, we're going to have information session offline in CBD. It would be 27th of November. We haven't confirmed the place yet, and I haven't announced it in uh, our meetup group. And uh, But I will, in any case, I will announce as soon as we have the uh, place uh, available so we will announce it where it's going to be and th there will tell you like uh, information about our club system and education as well so if you would like to like go ahead and learn with us and how to join our club uh, investment club uh, in order because what we do in investment club we meet monthly and we discuss different companies so we go into details uh, not like today today it was just uh, like very very uh, like you know so easy kind of uh, research but then we go into precise research we dig about companies so uh, investors prepare information about their companies and what we do the, we make certain actions so we identify the strategy and uh, we make trades on our like investment club account and what you can do you can replicate similar stuff using your own uh, portfolio your own account just at home already or just sitting in the club you do exactly the same as the club does okay similar to, like that and we we're going to have this session 27th of november so if you're interested please come along if you have friends who are interested please come along as well and uh, now you probably will be redirected to our facebook page so just click like sometimes we post something there so if you just want to follow us it would be great as well okay guys thank you very much and uh, yeah, please, yeah, of course, Saber, come. Uh, and uh, I'd love to see you there. All the best, guys. Uh, have a good day. See you next time.